Hey everyone, AppChasers.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to take notes using the 2016 interactive program for the regional convention. And we're very excited because the regional convention season has come upon us here in the United States. And so we start thinking about things like this, how to get prepared for the upcoming convention. Uh, we might be thinking about uh, our transportation, our hotels, our wardrobe even, but also how to get organized and ready for the convention using our iPads or our iPhones. Now, last year, we uh, made the video of how to take notes using the interactive program and using PDF Expert, which is an app by a company called Readl. Uh, you could also use Documents by Readl, too, if you've already purchased PDF Expert. But this time, we want to take a look at uh, using another app called Notability. Here we are in the App Store, and uh, this is the app that you'll want. Uh, at least for this review, we're going to be looking at it. Notability by Ginger Labs. So this is where you're going to find it. Just type in Notability as I have into the App Store search in the upper right-hand corner. But let's switch back over into JW.org. And I'll show you how to find the interactive program. All you need to do is go up here to the right, upper right, and tap on search. We're just going to tap on program. And there in our first uh, hit here, in our search results, we've got 2016 interactive program. Tap on that. It'll bring us to the page where we want to now tap on PDF. And here's where we're going where we're gonna to get the option to either download the regular program, which does not include notes or a place for notes. And we're going to have the option to download the interactive program. That's what we want to do uh, right here. The second one here. Tap on that. Now, right here in Safari, it opens up the program for us. Uh, so we can take a look at it and make sure it's the one we want. But what we want to do is open it into Notability. To do that, we'll just tap on the center here. Tap again on the Open In button in the upper left. And now we'll choose from the list of apps that we have installed here. Copy to Notability. All right, so we've got Notability now open. And it's asking us what we want to do with this uh, PDF that we're now asking it to uh, import. We'll say Create New Note. You could also add it to another note if you'd like. So it brings in all of the different pages. There's 72 in this program. Uh, in the lower right-hand corner, it's asking us where we would like to save it to. These are a number of folders that I've created already in Notability. But for now, we're just going to throw it into our Unfiled Notes folder here. You can also see grayed out on the left-hand side of the screen uh, that we have those same folders uh, available to us. So we'll just keep it in Unfiled Notes. Uh, we're going to tap Import in the upper right. It's now going to go ahead and bring in all of those pages. In the upper left-hand corner here, you can see we've got a name here uh, for our program. We can uh, rename that if we'd like. Call it the 2016 program. There we go. We'll hit Done there. And that's how you rename the program. Uh, so as we scroll down... We've got all the pages that we saw before, as well as these interactive links. So I'll show you how that's going to work here. Uh, let's go and just tap on one of them. We'll, for example, we'll just tap on the first one, our chairman's address. Now, this gives us a preview of the page. And it's going to ask us, do you want to go to page 7? We can just tap anywhere on that preview. And it brings us to page 7. Uh, once we're on a page, the uh, organization has nicely made links available to us at the top of each page as well. We're on Friday right now, as you can tell. If we want to go to Saturday, just tap on Saturday. shows us a preview of that overview page, which we can then skip to right there. So it's a nice way to jump around within the program. Uh, you know, if you're wondering where you are in the program, you can always go back. Uh, let's say we're in a talk here. Let's go to this one here. 
And we want to go back to the beginning of Saturday. We'll just tap on that again. And it brings us right back to the nice table of contents so we know where we are in the program for that day. Let's go back to Friday here. We'll tap on Friday. Take us to that table of contents. We've got all of our talks listed. I'm going to start with um, the symposium here, Hate What Jehovah Hates, which is the first talk. And that is... Um, at 320. So we'll tap on that. It's going to ask us if we want to go to that page and start taking notes, which we do. All right, so this is where we're going to start taking our notes. At the top of the screen, we've got different tools that are available to us. Uh, for example, a text tool, handwriting tool, which is very cool. Um, yeah, you can write by hand if you'd like. We've got a highlighting tool right there. We've got an eraser, which allows us to erase anything that we've done. We'll get rid of all that. There we go. It's all gone. Uh, we've got the cut and paste tool here. And we've got our finger tool, which allows us to drag around on the screen when we're um, in one of the other modes. Next to this hand tool, we've got a microphone tool. This is one of the most fantastic aspects of Notability, is the option to record audio while you type uh, in your note. And not only does it record the audio, but it also links it to whatever you're typing. So if you're in part of a talk and you're uh, halfway through the talk typing notes, you can go ahead and tap on any one of those areas or in your notes, your typed notes, and it'll automatically uh, fast forward or adjust to that point in the audio, audio recording so you can go back and listen in that way. Uh, we'll show you a little bit about that in a, in a while. But uh, next to that, we've got our plus button here. You can add a photo to a note. You can take a photo. You can draw graphs, uh, insert a web clip or stickies. We've got an uh, uh, area where we can change the paper style if you'd like to do that. We're going to leave it the way it is here for now. And then at the far right hand, we've got our nice thumbnail preview. So you can scroll around in this way too. I like to leave this open because as you're typing, you might want to uh, go to the next page or move around in this way too. That's a great navigation tool. All right, so let's start typing here. If we go up to our type tool, we'll just tap here, and it gives us this little uh, typing window. We can start typing here, and uh, the window will adjust according to where we are. If we want to, um, let's say, increase the size of the window, just hide your keyboard using the, t the uh, key here in the bottom right-hand side of the screen, and now we can drag this around and adjust our typing area. So I'm going to actually do some real note-taking here. All right. Let's just say that we're going to start a bulleted list here. All right, so we start there. We'll tab down or return. Uh, let's just say this. Just gonna make up some notes here. All right, there we go. Now, if we want to start a bulleted list, what we do is we just highlight what we'd like right there, and uh, over on the right-hand side, just above the keyboard, we'll tap on our bullet here, and now we've got our bulleted list. We can move it over if we'd like by using these arrow keys in the left-hand side above the keyboard. Uh, this is one of the coolest features about Notability, which actually puts it ahead uh, in terms of formatting your notes, ahead of other apps like PDF Expert, which does not allow you to create these bulleted lists. But it's smart, too. If, you, um, if I return there, it'll give me the next bullet. If I want a indented point. It'll allow me to do that. Let's just do that. There we go. 
and we can return again. We can go back to our main points or we can indent again. Uh, different ways that it allows us to create a nicely formatted note. Uh, I, I love how it does this and I haven't found any other apps that do it as well as Notability. We can also change the uh, font size. So let's go down here. We'll start to, you can see how I'm changing it here just above the keyboard. Now it's we've got a smaller font. There we go. And that's a live preview of a font change. If we want, we can go back and change all of the font to a larger size at any time. You can also change the color. This is the only colors that you have available to you for your text notes. Um, you can make them bold, italic, underline, whatever you'd like in that regard. All right, I'm going to switch it to blue there. And these are, if you look at uh, right above next to our bold, italic, and underline to the right, we've got font favorites. So you can change between these fonts at any time and save them at any time. So it just allows you to pick what font you would like to use and then save them to A, B, and C. Then you can go back and use that font uh, very quickly. All right, so there we are with that. Let's say we want to take some handwritten notes. We'll go on to our handwriting tool here. And now we're going to use the zoom tool uh, to do this because this allows us uh, to make some very nice handwriting without uh, blocking the screen. Uh, I got to this zoom tool by tapping on the lower right hand corner of the screen. We've got this magnifying glass with a plus that you can see I'm activating there. And I'm just going to write uh, in cursive here. There we go, Jehovah. There we go, looks a little bit uh, bad, but that's how you're going to use this uh, zoom tool. Uh, I'm going to resize this here, and I'm going to move it down. I'll show you how you can write a little bit smaller. Now watch what it does as I write here. I'm going to write the same line that I've got at the top of the screen. Notice how it moves over as I run out of real estate here on the screen. Oops, there we go. So if you feel like using uh, handwritten notes, this is a great way to do it with Notability. Uh, I love it. it. It even tabbed down and adjusted for our next line. There we go. That's the great way to use handwritten notes in Notability. You can also highlight sections that you've already written. I'm just going to get out of this uh, zoom feature again. You can go in here, highlight. Uh, you can change the highlight color by tapping on the highlight button again. You can also do that by tapping on the handwritten uh, notes button again. You can change the size of the tip of your stylus or your finger. You can change the different colors here. You can do the same with your highlighting. There we go. And you can go ahead and erase at any time. So I'm just erasing the highlighting here. It does not erase the note that I have. Although if I do uh, do this to my handwriting written note, it gets rid of that as well. Okay, so let's uh, now go back into our typed notes. And I'm going to initiate the record feature by tapping on this microphone. It's going to ask us if we want microphone. We say yes. Now it's recording audio as I type. So I'm going to say um, the future is bright for God's people. There we go. All right, now I'm going to go to the next one and we're going to say we need to obey him. There we go. And to the next one and on and on. Now let's go ahead and stop this. We can go to our rec or to our playback screen by tapping on that little carrot here next to the microphone. And let's play it. Probably won't be able to hear it. 
uh, because of the way that it's hooked up for my screen recording right now. But notice that as it goes along, watch how the words are now being highlighted during playback to show you where I was speaking uh, while I was typing. So we'll do the same for that while you're uh, listening to a talk. Very nice feature of Notability. I love this recording here. So we'll stop that. We'll go back here. There we go. And uh, at any time you'd want, you can go back, change the page, jump to a different page, and so forth. So that's how you take notes using Notability on the iPad. But let's show you just a couple other features here, and that has to do with the organizational features of Notability. We'll go back to our main screen. So we've gotten out of uh, where we were actually taking notes, and now you can see we've got our unfiled notes or all of our folders on the left-hand side. We've also got all of our notes in that folder showing on the right-hand pane. If we want to add a new folder, just tap on the plus button right here. They're actually called subjects. I'm going to call this one 2016 Regional. Now I'd like to go ahead and move this note that I've already created in my unfiled notes into the Regional folder here that I just created. To do that, you have to tap and hold on the thumbnail here to the left of the name of the note. Tap and hold there. You can drag it around on screen and throw it right into that Regional folder. And there it is now in that folder. Uh, it's a little bit confusing. I didn't know how to do that at first. I tried tapping on the name. All that gives me is this duplicate button or duplicate. But you have to tap and hold on the actual thumbnail to move them around. So a little bit confusing, but it is nice that you can quickly move notes in that way. Let's go into our settings of Notability down on the lower left-hand corner. Right away, it's got my uh, all my notes going into iCloud. So they're in Notability, but they're going to be saved into iCloud so that I can access them from any device, whether it's a Mac or iPhone or my iPad, that I have Notability installed on. I love this feature that it now uses iCloud, but you can also use these other um, apps here for example, Dropbox, Google Drive, any of these services that you may use. You can do that by logging in here in the Manage Accounts tab. You can also set themes for Notability. I've got the light theme on here. Go to a dark theme, and it gives you a exact preview showing you what that's going to look like. I'm going to end that preview. But there are a number of different uh, themes that you can unlock here if you'd like. Light and dark are the two that come with it. Uh, for free. Go into document. We can change our different note papers here. We can show if we want to include the date in our title. Go into saving our uh, different fonts that we want to use. Our handwriting. We can go into left-handed mode or palm detection, which is nice if you're writing on the screen. You don't want your don't want it to pick up your palm movement. And uh, iOS sleep timer. You can keep it awake so you don't want your iPad falling asleep while you're taking notes. Overall, that's a great way to take notes using the interactive program and Notability on your iPad. Again, if you'd like to uh, take a look at using the interactive program with PDF Expert, I've got that video available. I'll put that link at the bottom uh, of this video. And uh, we're going to make some other videos too showing different apps that you could use the interactive program with. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe and please visit us on appchasers.com as well to show your support there. Thanks a lot and we'll talk to you later.